how much of Multiverse X's native token called eGold in order to potentially become a crypto millionaire? In today's video, let's find out. And before I kick things off, I first want to begin by saying how I'm not a financial advisor. These are all just hypothetical scenarios. And also on top of that, there's absolutely no guarantee that any of it is going to happen. In addition, the current circulating supply of eGold is sitting at around 27 million. So just keep in mind that as the circulating supply changes, these calculations may be affected as well. But with that being said, my first price target for eGold is eGold at the price of $500. At that point, you would need to own 2,000 eGold to become a millionaire. And by the way, $500 is around a 15.6x from here. But besides that point, 2,000 eGold is currently worth $64,000. And now some people, they may be thinking, okay, you know, 64,000, that's a lot. And I agree, a lot of people, they don't even have that as their net worth. But here's the thing. Even if, let's say, someone doesn't have that much to put in, I still think that eGold going to the price of $500 is still pretty impressive. Now, not financial advice, but hypothetically, if let's say I were to put $1,000 into eGold right now, and let's say it were to go to the price of $500, you know, at that point, I would have managed to turn my $1,000 investment into over $15,000. Now, of course, that's not going to make anyone a millionaire, but I think that over 15x at the end of the day, is still not bad in my opinion. You know, it's pretty good. At least that's the way I view it. Now, my second price target for eGold is eGold at the price of $625. And at that point, it's around a 19.5x from here. And if it were to go to the price of $625, in order to become a millionaire, you would need to own 1,600 eGold, which is currently worth $51,200. And now, do I think that this is realistic? Yes, I do, because I do believe that Multiverse X is that special. Multiverse X, in my opinion, is one of the best blockchains out there. It's highly decentralized, it's secure, and it's highly scalable. And let's not forget, even Multiverse X themselves claim that they are the most advanced blockchain architecture in the world and the most impactful ecosystem spanning DeFi, NFTs, Web3, and the metaverse. And I think this right here is very amazing because it's heavy focus towards the metaverse, DeFi, and NFTs. I think that's going to be so bullish for them moving forward because we take a look at Grandview Research as they predict that both the NFT and DeFi market by 2030 is expected to be worth individually over $200 billion. I mean, that's insane. These two markets clearly have a lot of potential. I mean, again, right over the next six years, that's predicted to happen. That's insane. And also on top of that, when we take a look at the metaverse, you know, according to McKinsey, which we can all, I think, pretty much agree McKinsey is very reputable, they do predict that the metaverse could reach up to $5 trillion in value also by 2030. I mean, this is crazy stuff right here. When it comes to the markets that they're focused on, it's no joke. And let's not forget, when it comes to Multiverse X, they are carbon neutral, which I think is very impressive because nowadays, a lot of enterprises, they want to go green. They want to care about the environment. So a lot of them want to adopt new technology that's environmentally friendly. So I think that being carbon neutral is going to benefit Multiverse X greatly in the future. That's the forward thinking mindset that they have. They even care about this type of stuff. That's the genius about the Multiverse X team, in my opinion. So when I consider just how special Multiverse X is, I don't see why eGold, its native token, won't hypothetically go to the price of $625 during this bull run. Now, my next price target for eGold is eGold at the price of $800. And if it were to go to that price, you would need to own 1,250 eGold in order to become a millionaire, which as of right now is worth $40,000. Now, $800 may seem insane, but I don't think so because if eGold were to go to that price, considering its current circulating supply, at that point, market cap would be around $22 billion which I don't think is crazy at all. I mean, for instance, we've seen something like BNB go to over $100 billion in market cap. And think about this, right? Just last year, slightly over 2% of the crypto hacks that happened, according to Crypto.com research, actually occurred on the BNB smart chain ecosystem. Now, slightly over 2%, they may not seem that bad to some people, but in the grand scheme of things, when you consider just how massive the crypto space is overall, I think this right here is very unacceptable. So... Is BNB that revolutionary? Personally, in my opinion, I don't really think so. So if BNB can go to over $100 billion in market cap, why can't eGold at least go to around $22 billion? That's just my opinion. And now my next and final price target is eGold at the price of $1,000. And at that point, of course, you would need to own 1,000 eGold 
to become a millionaire. However, 1,000 e-gold as of right now is worth $32,000. And by the way, $1,000 is slightly over a 31x from here. Now, $1,000 may seem insane. However, I don't think it's insane because as of right now, there's nearly 600 million crypto owners. That's more than ever before in history. And this, by the way, is according to Crypto.com research. And keep in mind, back in the peak of the 2021 bull run, there was roughly only around 300 million crypto owners. Now we have nearly 600 million. Could you imagine the FOMO buying pressure and buying volume this time around? I mean, it could be ridiculous. If 2021 was already that special with that many less crypto owners this time, man, really the sky's the limit. And keep in mind as well, Bitcoin isn't even at the price of $100,000 yet. I think there's still ways to go. And also on top of that, we have to take into consideration how as of right now, there's more institutional investors than ever before, more enterprise adoption. I think that really, again, this bull run, the sky's the limit. And when I take that into consideration, I don't see why e-gold won't hypothetically go to the price of $1,000. And as to how soon, usually altcoins, they typically peak anywhere between 6 to 18 months after a Bitcoin halving event. And the Bitcoin halving event did happen back in April. So six months is October this year, 18 months October next year. Which I don't think is so bad because if anything, that's actually more time for me to accumulate something that I love, aka e-gold. Some people out there, they're complaining that, wow, you know, e-gold, it's not doing the best as of right now. But here's the thing. What are they expecting? E-gold to go on a legendary bull run of its own while Bitcoin is going down? That makes no sense. Bitcoin did break an all-time high. It's having a pullback. But I think this is only expected because usually when things rally up by that much in such a short amount of time, a pullback, it's bound to happen. And typically, altcoins, when Bitcoin does go up, they do usually increase by a lot more in terms of percentage increase. However, there is another side to it, right? When Bitcoin does go down, usually altcoins, the amount that altcoins go down is usually a lot more. So I think this is pretty much expected when it comes to gold. Yes, it's not performing the best as of right now. But again, right, I think give it some time. I think around a year from right now, things could look very different. That's why I'm staying patient. I'm dollar cost averaging. Anytime I'm earning income, I'm acquiring e-gold, I'm holding, and I'm just waiting. That's it. And of course, not financial advice, but I like to keep things simple. If I'm trying to day trade, trying to use leverage, that's going to just, you know, overcomplicate things for no reason. Personally, for me, simplicity is key. Dollar cost averaging for me is king. Acquiring, holding, and I'm just waiting. $1,000 for e-gold wouldn't surprise me whatsoever. I think it's that special, and I think it's that amazing. And make sure to subscribe if you gain value from this video. I greatly appreciate it. And also on top of that, make sure to check out this very interesting video. Thank you all. I really love it. It's Malie the Captain. And I'll catch you all on the next one. I'm out. Peace. Bye.